worst couples ever. Oh my god. What's going on guys, Shaq Clips here once again, and I'll show you some wall clips of the worst couples I can find. The like my favorite clip will be at the end guys, so make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. But in this first one guys, it is definitely not good either. Basically we have these guys over here, they end up setting up this guy's girlfriend, and pretty much exposed her for cheating or are about to cheat with a guy who makes much more money than him. I guess after she starts realizing that there's no hope for him anymore, she ends up name calling him at the end of the clip, calling him a loser. And I just find that absolutely insane, thankfully got everything caught on camera. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. What's going on? Excuse me? Can we talk about this? No, why? I'm You're not done. telling We're me done. why. You want to be like, talk to me. Like, tell me what's going on. I hear the words you're saying, but you, you are a understand that. I'm not going. Heather, if the reason isn't already obvious enough, it's because you're agreeing for me to pay you to go on dates all while doing it behind this guy's back. The truth is, it's all just been a huge, giant setup. I'm not, I'm not an investor. Leslie's not an investor. He's not getting a hundred thousand dollars. We just wanted to see but if you were, if you were a gold digger, and it turns out. Just a gold digger. And this next one is also just as crazy as the last clip. Basically, we have this man over here. He's walking up on this girl, sitting on another man's lap. And guys, that's her guy best friend. And this is his girlfriend. She was absolutely so sad. This guy's recording, I guess, everything for social media. And guys, that's probably the best thing for yourselves to do as revenge. Just record everything and I guess just post it everywhere. They will ruin the reputation horribly and there's nothing they can do about it. Huh, that's crazy. I thought she was at work. I thought she was at work. She said she was at work. So this is what we doing? What, what? This is what we doing? Hey, you doing too much. You doing too no, I'm doing too much. much. This is what we doing? Hey, what you, you been cheating on me. What, what you talking about? So, so you don't cheat? Hey, no, bro. So we doing? You doing too much. Damn. All I do for you, bro. You don't do nothing for me. All I do for you? Bro, don't put him in there. Don't put him in there. Damn. You grind me, dog. You grind me, dog. Look, look. Look at this. And this next one is actually just pretty sad in my opinion. Basically, we have this man over here. He's actually on Tinder in the movie theaters. And then moments later, this ends up happening. I hope his wife and kids get to see this video. I'm at the movies. We recorded this guy on Tinder swiping his phone, thinking nothing of it. I don't blame you, sir. Swipe that phone, boy. Five minutes later, a family walks in, right? <laughs> I got that on video, sir. Bro, it's his wife and kids know who's gonna tell her. And this next one's clip definitely reminds me of the first clip. I guess this girl was exposed for cheating. And the next thing she absolutely does is, I guess, name call this man as well. Calling him broke, calling him a loser, and saying that she actually has to work a lot. I always like to tell you guys, make sure you have your money up and your money straight before ever getting into a relationship. Because deep down, this is probably how some women are looking at you if you're broke. And it's totally unfair. He's taking me very well like, in the last couple months. And like, I'm not gonna lie, he's actually handsome. He's actually got money. Like you're literally broke. You literally, oh. you literally. Oh. Oh. No, I literally, I literally pay the rent and I literally pay all of the bills, and you're literally just here living off me. Like no wonder I'm gonna go off with someone else who actually okay, wants to spend time. With me. The you literally could have spoken about this to me, but you had to like, bring cameras in and stupid things like this. Like what oh, is that? She's about? exposing you. Stuff. She's exposing you. Oh. Exposing me. She's the one that's cheating. But you guys now are why, knows. Are so embarrassing. Why would you do this to someone? You could now literally you could literally speak you to me never about it. You talk when you're oh. in the wrong. Oh, Ever. So that gives you the right to cheat on him because he doesn't have money. Oh well, no, not really, but you can see why I did it. What? What? That's the whole good piece. <laughs> what? Bro, I'm I'm done with this generation. And this sexless woman is definitely exposed as well. Basically, she actually has a wife and kids. And she decides to hook up with this other guy leaving a hotel room. I guess this guy had her location the entire time and caught her right in the act. Just listen to the video. Yes, you didn't know she was married, did you? Who are you, big guy? Hey, look, my wife just walked out of that motel. Everybody's a married woman. Who are you, big guy? Get away. Who are you? I'm, I'm, not I'm her husband, by the way. Husband that's not yep. married. Can't go away. Oh, we've been arguing for two weeks, but she's officially split up. I'm glad I just got my kids. Thank you very much. Get in the kids. I've lived in my own house for over Get in the old drive. Thank you. Hey, everybody, I'm fixing to make you famous, Bambi. You too, whoever you are. No way. This is going to be wonderful. Next time, turn 360 off on your son's phone that tried to get a hold of you all night long. 
both of them crying. I want to go to mom's. I'm not gonna lie. It definitely sucks to get cheated on, but it hurts a lot more when you have kids. If those kids are aware and they're actually growing up, imagine explaining this to them, explaining that, yo, your mom cheated on me with a guy at a hotel room, showing them this kind of footage, and it just makes a cheater look a lot more horrible. You're a real piece of sh Enjoy that. Lay hands on me, there won't be nothing. Your kids with you, boy. Your kids are with my mom. Everybody never get a wife like this because they wake up with a stranger. Look on YouTube, you'll find it. Goodbye, guys. And the sex one, I did find this clip a bit comedic. Basically, you have these girls over here. They're definitely in, like, I don't know, middle school, high school, whatever it is. And I guess they're arguing over a guy. I guess one of these guys cheated on his girlfriend. And I guess this girl wants to pick a fight with the rest of the girls in the cafeteria. Obviously, no fight broke down. That's why I posted this. But the fact that this is happening at such a young age is absolutely insane. They should be focusing on school, not about this garbage relationship stuff. Okay, how is that fun? No, that fun. Okay, you And this next one, I do feel bad for this woman. Basically, I guess she ended up getting dumped by this guy. And she did absolutely everything for him. She got into multiple relationships with him, did multiple things with multiple people with him at the same time, got a tattoo of him, like I said. And it's absolutely insane that people would actually do this to themselves to please another person. And I'm like, you're not just pleasing them. You're also making them lose respect for you. And I guess that's what ended up happening to this woman. She just got used at the end of it. And he tossed her to the street. Let's talk about, let's talk about how two days before they're gonna inject the baby in me. You make me go get this fucking tattoo, or you said that you was gonna fucking um call the doctor and cancel it. Remember that? You trying to tell these people I wasn't down for the poly relationships and the I was fucking bitches with you. I was bringing to our room. I was sitting downstairs while you was hoes. And this next one, this is definitely cheating in my opinion. These guys are bringing up a good question, saying, yo, if your girl randomly ran up to a random dude in the middle of the street while you guys are walking together, how would you react? And to be honest, I wouldn't react. I would just walk the opposite direction. What would you do if you're walking down the street with your girl and she sees a guy and she runs up to hug him? I just, I she runs to him. She runs to him. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. If she runs up to her next man, she has to run home. You're not getting it. You're not. You're not coming home. You're not coming home with me. 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 You're not getting. You're not getting in that Uber. You're walking home. The, the only man you can run up to is your dad. No, no, no. Even dead. Even dead. Why are you running to your dad? I'm your dad. And this next one, I guess this guy is fully had it with relationships, and you can definitely tell he doesn't care about this day either. He's been in three different divorces, and I think he's just fed up at this point. This girl's kind of surprised by his reaction because he doesn't have much emotion, but he's totally numb to everything. And even if this girl leaves him, he doesn't care. Month, I'll be 59. Is that bad? No, I, I generally date men younger than that. We only married once. Never married, never lived with a man. And how about yourself? You've been married more than once? Yeah. How many times? <laughs> three. Really? wonder when someone's married three times like you have to wonder what's that all about huh? i do too <laughs> i mean i'll tell you i'll be d just brutally honest i wouldn't you know had we not been set up this way i would not date somebody that's been married three times ordinarily do you want to end the date here do you want to go home no i mean no i mean we're talking we're getting to know each other and I'm certainly gonna you know give the date a and this next one i found this clip absolutely hilarious she definitely got roasted by twitter roast me let's hear some stuff i haven't heard before you're pretty that's the roast you asked for something you've never heard before. You're a victim. And this sexless woman is saying she would definitely not do anything for money, no matter how much money it is. And a lot of people like to say that, like, yo, I'd never do anything for a million dollars, especially if it's this disgusting. Meanwhile, this is actually how they feel deep down. I respect of anything. Yeah. Period. So you ain't go to do violence you for a honey cake. Gotcha. 
And this next one, I guess this girl went absolutely wild at her man and did this to his phone. Why did you just break my phone? What were you thinking? Oh my god. I wasn't texting the other girls. Are you crying? What are you crying? Well, that's it for you guys. Watch, guys. The next one. Take care. Peace.